after the manic friday last week which was related to the ftsc rejig it is time for our own nifty indices to do the rejig and a lot of stocks will be moving in and out of portfolios of mutual funds and ETFs based upon Nifty indices. We'll talk about the stocks that will be impacted positively or negatively in the nugget section today. Hi everyone, welcome to the update of 24th September. Now Nifty has been facing a lot of resistance in crossing 26,000 in the last few days. Today it took a concentrated effort from many many large cap stocks and in fact I got an alert exactly at 2.51 that not just nifty bank nifty also hit an all-time high at the same time within the same minute and this was not just because icici bank and hdfc bank were firing it was also the it indices the market bet today was slightly in favor of beers the reds were deeper the greens were lighter today's rally was led by metals all the way that's mostly because of the positive news coming from china on the stimulus package tata steel hindalco they were at the top 4% plus gains. Today the consumption pack came under heavy pressure profit booking. HUL which has run up a lot in the past 15 days that was down 2.5%. The graph was reasonably balanced today slightly in favor of beers but the larger market cap sectors they were on the side of bulls. Banking has been displaced from the top by power pack today. In fact banking has moved literally 5-6 points down in terms of contribution over the last two weeks. The second best is heavy machinery led by ABB and Siemens. Now this is the concentrated effort I was talking about. See Nifty created all time high then corrected. Bank Nifty same time made an all time high corrected. HDFC Bank went up corrected. ICICI Bank shot up then corrected. TCS went up corrected. Same with Infosys, HCL, Wipro. The star today was metals. One of the prime reasons for this run up in metals was that China may now stop dumping the metals and minerals if they are consumed in their local economy. This will impact the prices of local producers in India positively. Steel is dumped most by China, Tata Steel up 4% at 3.5x volumes. Nifty's trading range was very low today, 0.3% only, made literally 4 trips of this 0.3%. Also the visit to 26,000 was very brief because that immediately led to steep correction because a lot of people had put orders already that as soon as 26,000 is reached book profits. Bank Nifty also ahead of the monthly expiry tomorrow. The trading range was just half percent but just like Nifty it was all over the place. Bank Nifty is firmly now in overbought zone. So is Nifty. ATL continued with the tradition of creating an all time high every day. HUL was continuously down, ITC was continuously down, TCS was choppy but did not go anywhere, ICICI Bank was down, Reliance was down. Towards the end of the day, Bank Nifty also corrected. Bank Nifty effectively HDFC Bank was the only stock which was up at the end of the day. Rest literally everyone was down including the NBFC companies and within so many downtrends Bank Nifty made a new high that too towards the later part of the day. IT stocks rallied towards the later part of the day and there was a pattern. This is not a coincidence this was buying maybe by a fund or some large FII. In defense stocks BL was up whole day up 2% and we'll talk about that in the nugget section. Solar Industries was up 3.5%. Metals everyone opened with a gap up because China news was already out at the time of market opening. JSW Steel made another high. Everyone was trading above the line for the whole day which is a very good sign for the sector. Hindalco also made another high. Metals everyone was above the line. Consumption stocks literally everyone was below the line for most of the day. Investment banking was mixed back today. HDFC was up but Motilal Oswal and Nippon AMC were down. BSC was up only 1.2% today no 5-7%. Despite such a ride in the day, Nifty did not go anywhere, 0%. Bank Nifty corrected 0.3%. I thought that I'll see all greens in two days this week. That didn't happen. Nifty IT was up today. FII is sold. DI is bought. The net numbers are higher today for both DIs and FIIs. Nifty Energy was up nearly a percent. ATL is the lone stock today in the top 10 which hit a new high. But only Reliance, TCS and SBI are not in the 95-100% zone. HUL was the worst performer 2.5%. Gold was up nearly 75,000 now. Silver nearly 90,000. Brent is suddenly at 75. It went to 68, 69 levels last week. The rupee also weakened. Now the telcos are meeting the telecom minister today. Hope some resolution is reached for the AGR issue. And SEBI has given not to Swiggy's confidential filing of IPO. The launch is likely in November. 
is my trip promoters are selling stocks tomorrow this is a smallish company the reason i am saying is the price is 38 rupees approximately the stock is at 41 it is likely to crash tomorrow to 38 just because the price is low and 8.5 percent equity will change hands tomorrow on similar grounds pnb today the qip was priced lower than the market and as a result it fell to three percent these kind of activities should be noted because they impact the prices negatively mostly nifty 50 was a good balance 25 up 25 down the leader today was power grid followed by tata steel hdfc bank hcl tech and hindalco the legards were kotak bank reliance sbi life ultra tech cement and hindustan unilever adani enterprises and tata motors are most away from the 52 week highs next 50 29 stocks down 21 up vedanta tata power adani energy siemens jindal steel were up most the worst performers were indigo icic lombard bajaj holdings adani total gas and pnb if you recall i sold bajaj holdings because i thought that it was overbought and the frenzy of ipo was getting over i sold it last week and it has been down since then today the power pack was on fire led by tata power adani green power grid everyone was up nearly three percent the sector was up 1.3 percent tata power had good volumes and reliance had good volumes but reliance was in the red so was mrpl hpcl was up most 3.4 percent the consumption pack was all red hindustan unilever was down most but that's because it has run up the most also actually most is bikaji that was also down 2.6 percent bl and solar industries took the aerospace and defense sector up auto everything green that's probably the rub off of the china stimulus banking only hdfc was up rest everyone in red chemicals deep cuts this could be because crude has suddenly gone to 75 Profit booking in all construction stocks as well as cement stocks. Trends volumes were high but the stock did not go anywhere. Insurance heavy profit booking. Heavy machinery is looking good right now. Siemens up 2.3%. ABB up 1.7%. Suddenly both of them are looking slightly closer to the green zone. Hindustan Zinc is still in red. However, each and every stock was in green. That too on heavy volumes. Real estate mix bag. DLF which operates in NCR primarily. That was up. This is one trend you might see that DLF is more in green than the other stocks. Software green but no major uptick. Telecom not looking good at least today. Let's see what comes out of the meeting. Titan and Page Industries corrected. Kalyan Jewelers up today also half percent. Today I bought Hindalco, Indus Tower and BL for trading purposes. I had a gut feeling that something at least speculative will come out of today's meeting with the telecom minister. A ray of hope perhaps. Indus Tower has corrected a lot. I didn't buy Vodafone. BL I'll cover in the nugget section. Hindalco sentimentally it was up but I'll get rid of most of these stocks in a day or two. Now I need money for that so I sold Persistent which I bought few days back only. I mentioned yesterday that I'll reduce some IT stocks. I also sold the Radico Khetan which I had bought for trading purpose few days back. Persistent was slight green but Radico was in red. Overall a red day, not a big one. Monday is a big day in the rejig. The biggest in terms of the money exchange is Nifty 50. What is coming in? Trent and BL. Trent we have already seen go up like a rocket in the past month or so. Because this news is not new. The rejig was announced more than a month back. What is going out? Divi's Lab and LTI Mindtree. That is because Nifty 50, we can have 50 stocks only. If two are coming in, two have to go out. Where are the two incoming stocks coming from? They are coming from Next 50. So Trent and BL are moving out of Next 50. Where are Divi's Lab and LTI Mindtree going? They are going to Next 50. However, the money which is involved in Nifty 50 is way higher than Next 50. As a result, the inflows in Trent and BL will be a lot higher then the outflows from the funds which are based upon next 50. Similarly, the outflows from Divi's Lab and LTI Mindtree, they will be way higher than the inflows into the next 50 when they reach that index. What else is coming into next 50? BHL, JSW Energy, Loda Builders, NHPC and Union Bank. What is going out? Colgate, SRF, Marico, SBI Card and Berger. Now some of these stocks like Colgate, Marico and Berger, they have run up so much after the rejig was announced. Bank Nifty, there is only one change. Bandhan Bank is moving out. Instead of that, the PSU Bank, Canara Bank is coming in. In my opinion, Canara Bank is among the better PSUs. The next one is Nifty 100. The incoming stocks are BHL, JSW Energy, Loda, NHPC, Union Bank. Note that Nifty 100 has an overlap. However, Nifty 50 and Next 50 have exclusivity. 
वॉट इज मूविंग आउट बर्जर कोलगेट मारिको एस बी आई कार्ड एंड एस आर एफ आई हैड मिक्सड एक्सपीरियंस विद दिस रिजेक्ट एट टाइम्स आई हैव बॉट स्टॉक्स विच वर इनकमिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन दिस केस ट्रेंट एंड बी एल इन द पास्ट एंड ऑन द रिजेक्ट डे लिटरली नथिंग हैपन्स दिस आई हैव सीन हैपन ड्यूरिंग एम एस सी आई रिजिक्स बट वी सॉ लास्ट वीक ऑन फ्राइडे दैट ड्यूरिंग द एफ टी एस सी रिजिक स्टॉक्स लाइक आई सी आई सी आई बैंक वर ऑन फायर फोर एंड हाफ परसेंट अप हार्ड फॉर मी टू प्रिडिट वॉट विल हैपन ऑन थर्टी एथ विच इज मंडे द ई टी एफ एंड म्यूचुअल फंड विच आर बेस्ड अपॉन दीज इंडाइसिस नीड टू रिफ्लेक्ट द राइट स्टॉक्स ऑन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑक्टूबर सो द रीबैलेंसिंग एंड रिकेलिब्रेशन हैज टू फिनिश मंडे इवनिंग नेक्स्ट फोर डेज बैंक निफ्टी एक्सपायरी टुमोरो निफ्टी मंथली एक्सपायरी ऑन थर्सडे Friday, of course, is the last day of the week. Monday is the rebalancing. So four days full action packed coming up. Brace for impact. Have some money ready. Let me quickly walk you through the weight changes also. This is the article from Financial Express. Nifty Fifty Trent will see inflows of six forty five million dollars. PL will see inflows of four sixty one million dollars. LTI Mine Tree will see outflows of two twenty one million dollars, and Divis will see outflows of two sixty four million dollars. The inclusion in next fifty divis will see inflow of seventy nine million dollars. See here, two sixty four out, seventy nine in. This is what I was talking about. LTI Mindtree sixty six million dollars, BHL forty nine million, JSW forty seven, Loda forty one, NHPC thirty nine, and Union Bank thirty one. The least. Trend of course one seventy five million worth of stocks will be sold out. That's because Trend will no longer be in the next fifty. Same with BL, Colgate. एस आर एफ मारिको एस बी आई कार्ड बर्जर पेंट्स दे विल सी नेट आउट फ्लो दे आर नॉट ज्वाइनिंग एन अपवर्ड इंडेक्स सेम विद बंधन बैंक दैट विल बी आउट सो द स्टॉक विल प्रॉब्लम कोलैप्स और गो डाउन अलॉट कैनरा बैंक शुड सी फोर्टी फोर मिलियन डॉलर कमिंग इन दीज नंबर हावर आर नॉट बिग बिकॉज बंधन इज इन एनी केस द एट द बॉटम ऑफ बैंक निफ्टी निफ्टी हंड्रेड ऑल्सो हैज चेंजेस हावर दैट शुड नॉट मीन अ लॉट ऑफ वॉल्यूम्स do keep your strategy handy what you want to do with the stocks i have colgate in my portfolio which i bought recently i totally missed that colgate is moving out so i might sell colgate tomorrow i bought bl today cnc as well as few options both of them are profitable right now let's see if bl continues to go up i also have union bank in my portfolio it was in losses for last 3 4 months hopefully it will recover now and if i have money left i might buy a bit of canara bank tomorrow to give company to union bank this section was only for educational purpose do take your own decisions but my feeling is in a case of msci most of those stocks were in fno as a result the stock prices were well managed via fno most of the stocks in this list are not fno stocks so the rebalancing will be done on monday only thanks for watching i'll see you tomorrow